And our final story, India has now become the latest country to send a probe to Mars. Now, if all goes according to plan, this will be the first time that an Asian nation has completed a mission to Mars. Our Shweta Bajaj has more. India's maiden Mars mission, the country's first interplanetary mission, successfully blasted off, entering Earth orbit 44 minutes after launch. Mangalyaan is going to Mars to look for life. It's the first satellite to visit the red planet carrying a methane sensor. Detection of methane is key to unlocking secrets about life on Mars. There are two objectives for this mission. First and foremost is technology demonstration. That is our ability to build a Mars orbiter spacecraft with the necessary payloads and then take it all the way to the environment of Mars. The second, if you are able to orbit it, then conduct meaningful scientific experiments. Full success of the mission can only be confirmed in 300 days' time, when the craft reaches the Martian atmosphere. The Mangalyan, which means Mars craft in Hindi, will begin orbiting Mars by September 2014. Till now, there have been 51 Mars launches by United States and Russia, out of which only 21 have been successful. Quoting this, the chief of Indian Space Research Organization said that placing the orbiter around Mars would be a success in itself. There are also big commercial implications for the launch. India has spent 73 million US dollars on the mission, a fraction of the cost of most previous missions. It's hoped the low cost of the mission could help India grab a slice of the lucrative commercial space market. Critics have raised questions over India's need to invest in its space program while the country still has much to do fighting poverty. But officials say applications like weather forecasting and disaster management make India's space program a necessity and not a luxury. Shweta Bajaj, CCTV, New Delhi. And in the meantime, the reaction in India to the country's first spacecraft bound for Mars has been generally positive. Residents in New Delhi expressed optimism regarding the mission and what it might accomplish. It becomes successful. India will be the first Asian nation to have launched a mission to Mars. It's a big thing. It will take around 300 days to reach Mars. And uh, Dr. K. Radhakrishnan on the and his team, I really congratulate them. Like uh, being Indians, uh, we are able to do such a thing. It's really a very big thing for this nation. Of course, it's a step ahead because uh, every other... A uh, developed nation is uh, launching its mission to Mars and uh, if India is also doing it, so we should be proud of it. We are very proud of our achievement in the field of space research and everything. And uh, we are one of the few countries in this world uh, to have achieved such a great uh, capabilities, even to start such things. So we, I am, as an Indian, I am very, very proud of such achievements. The Mars mission joining me on the phone is Mr. Wu Ji, director at the National Space Science Center at Chinese Academy of Sciences. Welcome to our program, Mr. Wu. But only the United States, Europe, and Russia have so far successfully sent probes that have orbited or landed on Mars. If the launch is a success, uh, where would India rank among global space of powers? Uh, yes, uh, it's true that uh, there's only a few countries that has already launched successfully to a Mars, Mars mission. Uh, we have uh, uh, seen uh, this afternoon that uh, India has a successful launch of uh, their Mars uh, orbiter, but uh, the orbiter is still in, uh, remaining in the Earth's orbit. Uh, it has not been uh, departed, uh, departing from the Earth and to the Mars. So it will take a few, few weeks, so we will see uh, how, what will happen. Later on, yeah. Right, and the launch uh, is only the first step of the mission to Mars. So, Mr. Wu, tell us more about the uh, challenges the orbiter will face in reaching the red planet. Uh, yes, uh, in about a few weeks, uh, as uh, they are planned, on the 1st of December, they will start their engine uh, on the spacecraft and the departure from Earth to, uh, to Mars. And this, uh, I think this is... Uh, uh, the first uh, obstacle they have to overcome, and uh, normally 
uh, the, there will be should be no problem. But uh, right now we are on a solar peak uh, uh, period, which means uh, a lot of a solar uh, uh, exploration, and uh, the sun is not very quiet. So there is a lot of uh, uh, high energy particles coming from the sun. So uh, I believe uh, they will have some designs to uh, to protect this. And if everything succeeds, they will departure from Earth and go to the Mars uh, orbit uh, to go to the Mars. Uh, during this uh, journey, it will take uh, about 10 months to arrive Mars of, uh, uh, orbit uh, in uh, the September next year. So uh, during these uh, 10 months, there will be a lot of uh, things they have to do. First, they have to maintain the communication, uh, talking to the spacecraft uh, all, 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 all the way uh, through these uh, 10 months. And secondly, during these 10 months, they have to adjust their orbit for a few times, at least mm -hmm. one or two times. Mm -hmm. So uh, the communication and their command has to be sent to the spacecraft mm -hmm. very precisely. Mm -hmm. And they have to measure the orbit uh, parameters very mm -hmm. precisely. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things to do within this 10 months. All right, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Wu Ji from Chinese Academy of Sciences. Well, Mars, uh, Mars has always fired the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Uh, since the 1960s, uh, various missions have been launched to unlock the mysteries of the Red Planet. Uh, Deng Ran brings us up to speed with some of them. In November 1962, the Soviet Union launched the Mars One detector. The spacecraft lost communications when it was at a distance of over 1 million kilometers from Earth. The mission was seen as a precursor to the scientific exploration of Mars. In November 1964, the U.S. launched the Marina 4 spacecraft. It was the first spacecraft to obtain and transmit close-range images of Mars. The relayed surface images revealed a cratered and moon-like surface of the planet. In May 1971, the Soviet Union launched the Mars 3 detector. It was the first spacecraft to make a soft landing on Mars. In 1972, the U.S. launched Marina 9, becoming the first spacecraft to orbit another planet. In 2003, the U.S. Spirit and Opportunity rovers were launched respectively in June and July. They both successfully landed on Mars. In June 2003, the European Space Agency launched the Mars Express detector and discovered water for the first time on Mars. In November 2011, the United States launched the Curiosity rover. It landed on Mars in August 2012 with a mission to determine if the planet's environment was suitable to sustain life. Deng Ran, CCTV.